Hi, this is Droki, welcome. In this tutorial I will show you an easy beginner setup for Owlless based on the 5 aspects that make up a successful Owlless. Then we will have a look at potential sources of errors, once again based on those 5 aspects. Good luck and have fun! Oh, first I want to point out one thing, if you're really new with the game the trick is very hard because it gets easier once your movement improves, also it barely saves time with beginner movement. Most top players suggest messing around with it at first, but warn new players from the risk of wasting their time resetting over Aulus when it would have saved very few seconds anyway. So, the setup. To start off, make sure you're in lag to cam C up, as that saves a lot of lag on the N64. Get onto the island with a triple jump wall kick, a side flip wall kick or, for advanced players, with a fence clip double jump wall kick. Immediately after the wall kick you wanna dive. Roll out using A and B and press C right twice as you land. And now we can start the setup with the 5 equally important elements for a successful Aulus. For this setup you want to start a bit left of the red coin. The camera pans along with Mario on the rotating island. If you wait for too long your angle will be messed up. So for the first aspect start your triple jump as soon as possible. With this setup the third jump should be positioned around here on the edge of the island with only a little space between Mario's feet and the edge. Right as you triple jump go neutral on the stick. If you did those two things right, there's a good chance you can become consistent at the next four aspects for the successful Aulus. Wall kick in the middle of the cage, don't aim too far left or right. Aspect 2. You also want to wall kick at the peak of your triple jump and that is aspect 3. Aspect 4. At the start of the wall kick you want to be holding left already, exactly left. If you are late with holding left, the trick will not work. The fifth and last aspect, possibly the most challenging one. To gain as much height as possible, you want to get an early wall kick, but not a first frame wall kick. So ideally you get a third frame or, even better, a second frame wall kick. Check the movement guide linked on the eye on the top right of the screen if you're unsure about wall kick frames. If all these 5 conditions are met, you should clip in if you just keep holding left for the duration of the wall kick. As you land, ground pound the star. That saves several frames over the jump kick that people used to do. And there we go, that's how this Aula setup works. And just for you all the steps again. Triple jump immediately, triple jump at the edge of the island, go neutral immediately, second frame wall kick at the peak and in the middle and keep holding left all the way and ground pound the start. If you cannot hit Aulus for some reason and you don't know why, it's probably because one of the five elements was not executed perfectly. So let's repeat them and show what could go wrong. First one, start your triple jump early. So the camera won't pan away and give you a bad angle. You can fix the bad camera angle by pressing C left to right and then start a triple jump right away again. Wall kick in the middle of the cage. It will not work if you are too far left or too far right. Wall kick at the peak of your triple jump. If you wall kick too low you won't get enough height to clip into the cage. This will take a lot of time to get used to for sure, especially if you're not too experienced with the movement of the game yet. Hold left during the full wall kick. Hold left too late and Mario will be too far away from the cage to get in there. Lastly, get a second or a third frame wall kick to not lose too much height, as for every wall kick frame you're late, Mario will be in a falling animation for an additional frame. You can get Aulus with a later wall kick frame, but it will be much harder. So you might want to take a screenshot now and check your recordings of failed attempts with these 5 aspects. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please let me know in the comments. If you got further questions, don't hesitate to contact me on Twitter or Discord. Follow me on Twitter and sub to my YouTube to stay updated on future tutorials and check out my channel for other tutorials I made in the past. Thanks for watching.